What's there to say? There's nothing but space in between you and I. Hey! Hey everyone! Today I'm gonna be organizing all of my vinyl and I'm gonna kind of be moving them into another room in my house. Um, I haven't made a video on my vinyl storage before because I've been kind of embarrassed by it. Kind of was in the stages of being moved and reorganized um, from when I picked everything up from my aunt's basement. And it feels good to finally be taking another step to organize it and make it look a lot nicer and um, just easier to search through. So yeah, let me show you guys what's going down these are the bins that all my records have been in basically since i picked them up like i said from my aunt's house these were basically all inherited um so yeah these are obviously not the most attractive things my mom spray painted this for me because she thought it would look better also i have about two bins of these so some of these are damaged which are usually the ones that I use for my artwork um, so if they're like chipped or scratched or anything so I do have a selection of vinyl that might make some of you guys cringe but um, this is all vinyl that was already damaged so that's how I've been they storing show it you the box that I got from Target see that this particular Storage bin is a go-to for a lot of collectors, especially when you're starting out and you're growing it. I know I didn't need all the space in the world for my vinyl, but it's definitely growing. Oh, I forgot to show you. I have some more vinyl here. So yeah, the one I ended up getting is a four square bin from Target. It is 13 inch storage bins, which I had to double check because they also sell like 11 inch storage bins, which for 12 inch vinyls just is a little bit too small. Um, and they hold up to 30 pounds of distribution, so it should be good for holding all the records safely, I hope. <laughs> So I'm kind of, I'm trying to figure out how I should organize my records to what works best for me. Obviously in stores, they're going to do like alphabetical order or genres or something. Um, but with me having my art business and combining kind of my pieces with everything else, I'm just trying to think of like the best way to um, put everything together. So I think I definitely want to do a section of just modern records um, and then another section of vintage records just because I think um, they are kind of like separate collections to me in a way. <clears throat> so I definitely want to start with those two categories and then I don't think I'm going to break it into alphabetical because I just don't see myself sticking with that. If anything, I think I would stick <clears throat> to more like genres or even like most played to least played or you can even separate it on moves. So I'm trying to figure that out but I think I'll definitely start with um, vintage and old uh, modern records and then I'll probably just do it by like most played I'm thinking. I don't know. We'll see. Yay! We finished her. I was going to angle her but also from Target got just one of these storage bins like you can see them in the picture thinking that just in case my records don't take up all four sections I'm not really sure if they will that I could use this to store more of like my vinyl cleaning accessories maybe extra covers or something um, so I might be using this I don't even really know yet <laughs>
Get around, I get around